I did it. We did it. Joseph did most of the work. Enchanted Rock State Park is located right outside of Fredericksburg, Texas, and it's known for its beautiful hikes and for us climbers, it's slabby granite stone. The peak of E-Rock is about 425 feet off the ground. Audie, Joseph, and I decided to make a day trip from Austin in order to get a few climbs in and top the rock. We got to the park around 7 a.m. because even though it was fall, Texas still gets freaking hot in the afternoon. So it's best to get an early start before you're on a giant rock in the middle of the Texas sun. Joseph set us up with a few anchors on some 5, 6, and 5, 7 routes to start our warm up for the day. As you can see, the rock is very, very slabby with only a few crimps to hold on to. You'll constantly hear the people from the bottom yelling, trust your feet, trust your feet, but really there's not much to put your feet on. I have to go all the way up there and it freaking blows. I hate climbing here. Up to the anchor. Luckily, this flake at the end was really easy to climb. Beautiful view. Scary just having my legs dangle like this. Ah, terrifying. And then I just have to have Audie lower me down. I'll cry if I drop my GoPro. Joseph's pulling the rope from these two routes. <laughs> That's fine. We are about to go summit E Rock with our packs on. Yeah. All the way up. <laughs> Finishing our warm up, we continue to hike further to the back of the rock, scrambling under and around some boulders. Our goal was to get to the Smorgageborg right. wall where we would complete Strawberry Jam to the top. It goes up and left this way, but that tree's in the way. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna have to like run it out to the tree, go under it, and then place my first piece. Because if I place my first piece right here, and then go like uh, over the tree, the rope will drag over the trunk. Right, I see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it out to the top of this flake, yeah. put my first piece, and then I'll be in. Just okay. so I get to the left of that tree growing out the rock. Okay. Let's see. Introduction. Roses, freshman turkey, window. Oh, I'm sorry, you see the center wall? Center oh, wall okay, that okay, okay. Should be this one right here. Echo Canyon. Purple Crack. That's right there, so it should be like... Smorgasbord. This is just gonna be Joseph's Guide to Climbing E-Rock. For my climber friends out there looking for some more technical information, this is what Joseph had to share. For Smorgageborg, head towards the Triple Crack Sanctuary and locate the base of Gross Crack. Just to the left of this route, you will find an opening between fallen boulders. Scramble up and right out of the opening to get to the base of that climb. Run out the first pitch to a great ledge to belay from. Use the UL8, UL7, and BD4 to build an anchor. Either climb up into the dihedral or climb left protecting the undercling. There are a set of anchors just as you come over the dihedral to the right of the shelf just next to the tree. If you decide to follow the underclean, then follow the seam up to a large tree. Belay at the tree. Easy fourth class top out. For strawberry jam, which is the route that we finished on, um, be sure to save a BD4, BD3, UL8, and UL7 to build an anchor. When you see it, you're going to be like, oh my god, like that's a walk up. Yeah, I mean, 5'3", so... Have you ever climbed to 5'3"? I don't think I've ever climbed to 5'3". Uh, no. We're going to climb one Because even day. the green belts, yeah, 5'6". 2, 2, 2, side, hand side, all good. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, you're good. Alright, Ronnie, it's about that time. First. 
tree. You're clear. Oh, silence. We were able to do this all using just one rope. Once Joseph made it to the top and built his anchor and was secured in, it was time for us to grab the rest of the gear and begin our journey up. Joseph blade me directly and Audie was on the rope below me. This is 100% one of my least favorite routes and I would definitely not do it again for multiple reasons. One being that I'm a tinge claustrophobic and the idea of getting my foot stuck on this ledge 200 feet above the ground was not ideal. Not to mention that you're facing in the crack the entire time. I would have to take this breaks to look scary. out on the scenery and breathe in order to keep myself going. However, this was a crack and a very, very easy route to climb otherwise. So I would recommend it if you are a beginner climber looking for an easy route that's practically a scramble. But again, you do need trad gear and someone knowledgeable enough to build you an anchor at the top. Once you get up there, there's a nice ledge to grab onto. Hey, Joseph, Emma and I are chilling at the ledge. Almost halfway there. Are we halfway there? Okay. I don't know, but that was miserable. Joseph made it sound like it was really scary after the tree, but really there was only about 10 to 15 more feet before you reached the anchor where he was waiting for us. Oh, that wasn't, he made it sound like it was terrible, scary. Me? That last part. Oh, well, it was with part of it. I felt like it was a yeah. little exposed. Yeah, the fall. I mean, you didn't really have anything. Uh, you can go ahead and pass him to the anchor up here, and then I'll take you off the way. Can you show uh, where the master point is? As you could tell by my very heavy breathing, this route was no joke, and I was very happy to be off belay, even though we did have a little bit more of a scramble to go to get to the tippy tippy top of E Rock. Would you try this route out? Leave a comment below. I would opt in on this route for new trad climbers just because other routes on E Rock don't have the same level of crack access or room for trads or nuts at all. As well, there's plenty of ledges for breaks, which again, E Rock is mostly spots with no footholds at all. So. I think it was an easy squeeze for me. 5 3? I, maybe 5 5 to me. I think it's 5 3 is a little. 5 3? Yeah. Baggy. But then again, we had gear on them on That's our backpacks. True. Off the edge, we were safe to come off of our ropes and finish the scramble to the top of the rock. It really wasn't that far, but I was honestly very drained from the climb. And so you might hear me huffing and puffing just a little bit more throughout the video. I did it. We did it. Joseph did most of the work. <sighs> Even though this route was a 5-3, it was hard enough to the point where I was like, this isn't fun and I want to go home. I'm done with this. I would not climb it again. But we're at the top. Here they come. I guess technically we got to go all the way up that too to make it the top top. Does it say that eventually? Yeah. 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 I'll put my hand in more now. Here, put your hand in, Joseph. Yeah. Oh, I feel so charged now. No better way to celebrate a victory climb than with a snack, some good conversation, and a great view before heading down to do some bouldering before we go back to Austin. Enchanted Rock is always a great place to visit, whether it's a day trip from the city to go hike or to go do the climb. Now that you watched this video, would you want to try Strawberry Jam out? Thanks again for watching everyone and hope I see you later.